That's very nice. Well, I would like to thank my dad in his grave for giving me this voice. It came from my dad. And also, I would like to thank my mom for giving birth to such a loud woman. And also, I would like to thank you all because you've noticed that I'm loud. <laughs> I'd like to know. Hello guys and welcome back to Life Updates with T. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to this channel, better make sure that you hit the subscribe button you turn on your notification bells you like you comment just basically interact with my content okay and please important reminder guys please do remember that you can only receive up to three notifications and then after that you'll just have to come back and regularly check if you um if i had posted new content or not so guys in case you missed the awards last night do not worry because you know that i got you okay you already know i got you so i will be listing all the nominees and the winners as well but in no particular order when it comes to pictures so pictures this light show will literally be just showing anything but you have to pay attention to my voice and listen properly to what i say you know this was this was really honestly a great idea all thanks to papa ghost and lerato it was very very entertaining i mean even though the awards <laughs> i mean the the categories were not uplifting ones or positive ones like we used to watching you know the awards that we used to but it was quite entertaining i think this was definitely a genius idea so let's start with the categories and you know the winners as well the nominees and the winners as well please do watch till the end of the video now let's start so the best entertaining housemate the um, nominees were makeke young papi jareed and the winner is jareed so the cleanest housemate the nominees were z papa ghost and makeke and the award went to z life of the party the best nominee of uh life of the party was mbumi mitch and willie and then the award went to mitch <laughs> And then queen of the dance floor the nominees were Milay, mpumi and liema and the person who took the award was the one and only mpumi landani and then king of the dance floor the nominees were mc junior young puppy and willie and then the person who ended up taking the award was the one and only young puppy and then the loudest housemate <laughs> this was actually funny this was actually funny the loudest housemate um the nominees were yolanda chuenza and lerato but we all knew we all definitely knew that yolanda was gonna take it so yolanda took that award the most stylish okay when it comes to this one i literally have a lot to say but let me finish okay the most stylist housemates the nominees were jared chuenza and yolanda and then the person who took the award was chuenza i mean when has chuenza ever been stylish guys yo uh -uh, nah. i feel like this the most stylist um award should have went to mitch or yolanda because i feel like those are the people that literally show us on a daily basis 
you know how stylish they are okay Mitch he usually shows up on Sundays you know eviction time and also on Saturdays and I think I really think clothes look good on him so as for Chuenza I don't know where, why they decided to go with that maybe it's probably because they wouldn't give anything positive to Yolanda let's move on the most quiet housemate the nominees were McJunior, Millay, and Sinaye, but Millay took the award. And then Evil Eye. <laughs> I was made with the best Evil Eye. The nominees were Liema, Lerato, and Else. And the winner of this category was else guys else has the most evil eye i don't i'm not sure if you have noticed yet but yo if she looks at you with that eye of hers uh, uh, you better be scared because what and then let's carry on the most funniest housemate the nominees were jared else and makeke and then the winner is makeke and then the next award category is best couple. Mm. Okay, the first couple in the nominees were the Ghost family, which is Ghost and Lerato, followed by the polygamy, the polygamy fam, which is Mbumi, Jared, and Liema. And then last but not least, it was Yolanda and Makeke. Yolanda and Makeke ended up taking the award and then next category was uh the most alcoholic housemate <laughs> and the nominees were papa ghost yolanda and z and the award went straight to yolanda even though she declined she gave her reasons why she said that she drinks a lot in the house because she feels safe around the house. She doesn't have to go home. She doesn't have to drive home or rather make plans to get home. So she will not be accepting the award because she doesn't believe that she's, a, she's an alcoholic. And the funny part is that Willie, you know, responded and said that, no, it's okay because we know that most alcoholic people are in denial. <laughs> I ain't denial. And Papa Ghost was like, yeah, that's true. When you are an alcoholic, you actually need help. Okay, let's move forward. And then the category of uh, the most housemate that tells it like it is, the category, I mean, the nominees were Papa Ghost, Mac Jr., and Mitch. Well, the award ended up going to mac jr and then the most toxic hey <laughs> most toxic <laughs> award guys i was quite surprised with this one actually i was surprised by the winners okay so the nominees were ghost and rato willie and puppy and the people or the housemates that actually won this award was Willie and Young Puppy. Guys, I know that Young Puppy is a lot, but like, could he really be the most toxic housemate? Wow, it's so insane. As for Willie, I didn't know that he is that toxic. And then the most, um, no, the radio star, yeah, radio star category category of radio star. Uh, the nominees were Millet, Yolanda, and Liema. And then the person who took the award was none other than Lee. Liema took the award. And then the wildest laugh. Oh, I was actually looking forward to this one. I mean, uh, yeah, the wildest laugh. Um, the nominees were Z. Taki and Mac Jr. And the winner of this category is Taki. And then the sneakiest housemaid. Mm, this one is, is deep. Yeah, this one is very deep. Sneakiest housemaid. 
The nominees were Milei, Mitch, and Sinaye. And the person who won the award was none other than Sinaye. Okay, is there anything left? Like, oh, yeah. The most childish. Okay, the most childish. Also, I have something to say about this one. The most childish, the categories were Young Papi, Willie, and Jared. But the person who ended up winning the award was Willie. I would have actually loved Jared to actually take this um this award because Jared doesn't take anything serious, guys. He literally takes everything as if it's some kind of a play or it's some kind of a circus. Like Jared is never serious about anything at all like i would have really expected him to actually win this category but yeah it is what it is and the most hated housemate the most hated housemate the categories were lerato uh yolanda as well as ghost and the person who won this award was none other than papa ghost <laughs> They literally hate him, guys. I actually realized it during the Friday arena. Yeah. So usually when the housemates uh go to to do their their own part, I mean play their part, actually the housemates cheer each other. Like they don't really care if you know who you are. But yesterday, I mean like for Lerato, Ghost was the only one who was cheering for her. And then for Papa Ghost, no one, Lerato was, I think she was even scared or rather shy to actually be cheering him. Like she, she tried to, but like none of the other housemates even tried. So yeah, she, I mean, he is the most hated housemate. And last but not least, face card of the season. And the face card of the season, the nominees were... Okay, no, actually, there were no nominees. It was just like... I don't know what, what they call those awards that are already there, you know. So face card of the season goes to Mitch, Z, and Liema. And Else was like, not on my watch, baby, not not on my watch, not while I'm here. And then baby girl went to fetch that award for herself. And she was like, how can you guys forget about me? Because when I know myself, I'm a fine babe. I'm a fine babe. I cannot accept that evil eye award, but I'm definitely going to squeeze myself in this face card, you know, award. And yeah, guys, that is it for the awards. And guys, that was super entertaining. I think it really kept me, you know, glued to my screen. And um, I never thought anything would, like this would ever ha happen because, I mean, like we've never experienced something like this ever in the history of Big Brother. Say whatever you want to say or whatever you can say, but I still say that this season of Big Brother Mzansi is bomb. I have been saying this. Like, this is historical. I do believe that mm, this is one of the best seasons we've ever had. Ama 2K are absolutely doing the most in that house so yeah guys i think i'll just have to end my video here thank you so much for stopping by please also do not forget to comment like subscribe share and guys please really do share hey i'm like genuinely asking you please do share my videos and everything to you know the people around you that you actually know that are big brother lovers so thank you so much once again for watching thank you so much for stopping by i truly truly appreciate your presence yeah it keeps me going and also keeps the channel moving so i will see you guys on my next video do take care i love you so much bye